I've had this scripture on my mind for a while, the passage about the Valley of Dry Bones and what God did, and I don't know that I've ever shared it, and I just really wanted to read you guys some scripture this morning and just tell you something that's really on my heart. Um, this is in Ezekiel chapter 37. Um, it's a little lengthy. It's about, well, it's not terrible. It's about 14 verses. <clears throat> But it says, the hand, of, the hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out of the Spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of a valley, and it was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them. I saw a great many bones on the floor of the, of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, O sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. I want to stop there for a second. Sometimes... Our situations can seem so dark and just so bleak and, and like there's nothing that can come up on these, these dry bones. They were dead. They were bones. Think about, think about bones. I mean, they're shriveled up. They're dry bones. There's nothing on them. There's no life to them. They're bones. They're dead. Things that are from the past that they're dead. And so many times in our life, we're surrounded by this valley of dry bones and in in they need to hear the word of the Lord. These, these dry bones were just laying there, and, it, and the Lord says, um, the Spirit of the Lord says, prophesy out of these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Your situation needs to be covered with the word of the Lord, and not negativity, not all these naysayers, all these other people in your life that are just telling you it's not going to work, things are never going to change. That's a lie straight from the pits of hell, because th these dry bones were nothing. These were dry bones, nothing. There was no life in them whatsoever, but the word of the Lord came and, and spoke and then these dry bones came to life. I want to read a little bit further. It says, this is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you. And at the bottom, um, where it gives you um, different things for different meanings of the words and different, um, it says it also means wind or the spirit. So I, I believe the spirit of the Lord came into those bones. There's no other way that could come to life if it wasn't the case. But it says, I will make breath enter you and, and you will come to life. I will, I, my heart is just pounding right now. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you. God wants to put breath back into you. Where people have tried to come and, and, and the enemies come to steal, kill, and destroy you, the Lord says he wants to put breath back into you. He wants, he wants new ministry to just spring out of your heart. He wants to do something. He's not finished with you. It says, um, I will put breath in you and you will come to life. And then you will know that I am the Lord. Because only the Lord can do that. Only God can do that. And create life where there was no life or where things had died. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And I, as I was prophesying, as he was prophesying, not after, as he was doing it, in the middle of him prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together bone to bone. I looked and tendons and flesh appeared on them and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy son of man. Um, and, and say to it, this is what the sovereign Lord says. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Again, you've got to, you've got to speak what the Lord says and not what you feel, not what you think, not, not what other people say or tell you how to feel. You've got to speak what the Lord says. That's where the power comes from. Um, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe into these slain so that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded, and breath entered them, and they came to life and stood upon their feet, a vast army. God's calling the vast army of these fallen Christians, of these fallen people, people that have struggled through stuff. Maybe sin has gripped them. Maybe death has come into their families and just invaded their lives. God is calling up an army of us to rise up in these last days because I fully believe we are in the last days before Jesus is going to return and claim his church. He's calling an army to rise up, but you've got to accept the breath of God. You've got to start prophesying into your, into your situation. And speak the word of the Lord and stop accepting everything else, everything but what God says. You gotta you gotta stop, you gotta move on. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. We say that a lot, don't we? <clears throat> There's no hope. It, it can't get better, but it can. Therefore prophesy and say to them, This is what the sovereign Lord says. Again, it's like a, it's like that spiritual warfare fight in your mind that you know, you see these dry bones and you see that there's nothing. But what does the word of the Lord say? The word of the Lord says, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Oh, my people, I am going to open up your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from them. I will put my spirit in you and you will live and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and that I have done it, declares the Lord. Sometimes we've got to get to that place in our life where we are just stuck and sitting in, sorry, my hand's shaking for some reason. Um, 
that we've got to just know that even though we're in the middle of a valley of dry bones and it doesn't look like it can get any better, you've got to speak and prophesy. Prophesying is just speaking the word of the Lord. It's nothing, no crazy witchcraft mess. It's you're speaking the word of the Lord. That's what you're doing. You're prophesying. You're speaking into your situation and saying, you know, yes, this is what my fleshly eyes see. But this is what my spirit man says. This is what my heart says. This is what the word of the Lord says in my heart. And you've got to get in the word and you've got to know what the word says. Just like in, in Ezekiel, you'll hear how the valley of dry bones. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, again, just think about bones. You know, I feel silly saying chicken bones. But that's what's been in my mind for since I started recording the video. But like chicken bones, you know, after you've eaten the chicken bones and everything, it's done. They're just bones. It, you know, you throw a bone out to your dog. It's just, it's a bone. These are just, there was, this was a valley of dry bones. And when the word of the Lord came and was prophesied and spoke to them, his spirit came into them and entered them. And there's this vast army that stood up and it's just rising. And there's just so much power in that. I just encourage you, whatever, if you're in a situation right now where it looks hopeless and the rug's just been jerked out from under you, start prophesying to that situation. You start speaking the word of the Lord and stop accepting what these other people are saying over you because it's a lies straight from the pits of hell. They're lies. Speak the word of the Lord today and believe what it says and be encouraged. Live life unscripted today. You've got this. You're awesome.